Next up is going to be Cody Cunningham with Suns.com. Hey, DA, uh, you guys came out, you know, extremely aggressive from the jump. Just what was the message for this team entering this game? And, uh, you know, what had you guys still motivated and ready to go from the start? I mean, we're the underdogs at the end of the day. Um, we don't get the respect. So, I mean, we know the task at hand. And, you know, that's what fuel us, you know, not knowing the world is not giving us our respect and, you know, respect that we deserve. So, you know, it's something that, that fuel our tank up, man. You know, just being underdogs in every category we do, even though we work hard and show that we, you know, are, com are capable of competing in this league. You know, that's what fuel us every day. Next up is going to be Greg Moore with the Airs. Greg Moore with the Arizona Republic. All right, sorry, we're going to skip to um, Catherine Fitzgerald real quick. Hey, DA, um, what did Jay Crowder's performance mean to you tonight and to the team? Well, the way I started it off, I mean, <clears throat> I won't say I won't say we got comfortable, but we definitely knew we were in a good place once he started off like that. You know, it's a, it was a big spark in the beginning because we were running in transition. You know, the defense we played we played tonight, you know, led to our offense, man. And you know, just Jay knocking down them early big shots for us was, was huge. Got our momentum going and. You know, it was key. It was big. You know, it carried us to think throughout the whole first quarter, to be honest. Next up is going to be Dwayne Rankin with the Arizona Republic. And DeAndre, congrats on getting that first uh, playoff series win. I just had a couple things. One, um, I've been meaning to ask you this about Chris's shoulder because you've experienced the same thing. I mean, have you two talked about, you know, hey, man, this is – this, this this isn't cool, man. I mean, you guys had conversations about you, about each other's shoulders. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's a weird little um, minor. I don't know even what to call that thing, but um, you know, I'll say uh, we're different type of people, man. I'm, I'm a bigger dude, so I mean, I can somewhat play through it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, see, I think C carried as well. He still he still tries. He I seen him tweet it earlier today. I, he. He played through it all, and you know, just you know, just us. You know, he's always icing it. I never really iced it. I just played through mine, to be honest. We never really spoke on what we feel for real, but I just knew what he was going through. Next was, up, is, oops, sorry. Next up is going to be Leonardo Torres, followed by Nicole Jarena. Hi, DA. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on your win, DA. What are your thoughts on Denver Nuggets? I mean. What do you think will be the key of the series? Key of the series is sticking to what we do. Um, you know, defense is what you know creates our offense, and you know, uh, we know it's going to be a different team, <clears throat> different style of play. But we can't change what we do, and we can't we can't uh, you know revert from being boys. You know, the way how we did in the first series. Next up is going to be Nicole Jarena. Hey, DA, congrats for the win. Thank what you is your, you welcome. What is your fresh impression about the game of poker tonight and through the series? Man, I told him, you know, I'm, I'm sometimes speechless, you know. Um, when he's scoring so big in halves and quarters, even like how he did today, I think he scored 19 points in a quarter. You know, I was on the bench watching. I'm like, dude, this this has to be some type of history this dude's uh, making, you know, scoring like this. And, you know, it feel like he doesn't miss sometimes. But, you know, um, it, it was it was just great to, 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 to experience all of this, to be honest. You know, I've seen him go to another level with my own eyes, you know, and just seeing it and being a part of that is actually amazing. You know, just being a part of his legacy, him and Tim and Chris is it, it's actually crazy. And I see how Chris worked with him and, you know, uh, Chris is rubbing off of a book a little bit when it comes to professionalism on and off the court. So it's just leading to the games, different approach that is very contagious for the team. And, you know, here we are. All right. I think we're going to wrap with that. Thank you so much for the time, DA. Thank you very much.